Mm, 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 mm. Blessings and blessings, family. What up, what up, what up? Uh, Preston Smiles here from uh, my amazing office in Playa Vista, California. Today's transmission, and if any of you are new to my vibe, new to the tribe, and you're watching this on YouTube, hit that red subscribe button. If you're watching this on Facebook or Instagram, just give a couple likes and comments and all that good stuff. And uh, let's see what wants to come through. Uh, as the title suggested, I am here to remind each and every one of us that uh, says that we're here to support, here to serve humanity. I hear it quite a bit. I'm actually in the midst of creating a, a coaching program for coaches in this way, but this applies across the board and it applies to all humans. For those of us who say we're in the service business, I wanna challenge you about flying under the radar. Because I think it's bullshit. I think that many of us, what's up, what's up family? Um, many of us, um, oh, but you, and I'll say me, actually, I'll say me too, um, are doing it because we wanna stay safe. Because we don't wanna be criticized or blamed or get haters coming out and after us. I have coached hundreds of people who unconsciously stayed on the sidelines judging other people who are successful while simultaneously not being willing to step forward because their cousins are on their Facebook and Instagram, because their mom is following them on Facebook. And out of a fear of being seen and judged and um, called out, they stay on the sidelines watching and waiting. And I wanna challenge and remind you that flying under the radar is um, in so many ways really messed up. Really messed up in the sense of we don't know what we don't know. Life is long and beautiful, and within that long and beautiful process, there is moments and things that happen when people die, people get diseases, things come up. It's actually your duty to be successful, however you deem success. And the longer you sit on the sidelines, waiting, talking, bullshitting yourself, the more you position yourself to be a burden to your friends and family if you get hurt, if you get sick. You know how I think? Let me just tell you how I think. I think in terms of, will I be able to still provide for my family when I'm 75 years old? This is the game that you get to step into. You get to start thinking long vision. I know a lot of you guys are just, I'm in the moment, I'm in the flow. Oh my God, it's so spiritual. And I'm here to say yes and, yes and, and. Are you prepared if the economy crashes? Are you prepared if your mom gets sick? If so-and-so has something show up for them? Are you prepared? This is the game. Courtney just said, uh, until life is not. Yeah, just lost a 43 year old high school uh, dear girlfriend. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about though. Like, it's all connected. The need for approval, wanting to be liked, loved, validated, taken care of, has a lot of people trying to stay safe. And safe, as we have deemed it or heard it, is not having a target on our backs. Well, I'm here to remind you that if you don't have a target on your back, then you're not actually probably doing shit. As far as your industry goes, as far as your job goes, 
Because those who are playing at, high, at the highest levels always have a target on their back. Now, a target, right? We hear that and we think negatively, negatively. But a target is also like, wow, I'm so envious. And there's a big distinction between jealousy and envy. Jealousy says, I want what you have and I gotta take it. Envy says, wow, that's so beautiful and it's calling me to a bigger game. So the target is not just a negative target, but however, I'm here to remind you again, if you're in the game and you don't have a target on your back, you're not actually in the game. You're on the sidelines, you're watching, you're waiting, you're playing small, you're playing it safe. You don't wanna get, well, however you old you are, let's say you're 36, you don't wanna be 46 in the same place. And I promise you, you will be. If you continue to do the same things in the same fashion, if you continue to think the same way, talk the same way, act the same way, eat the same way, ingest um, pop culture and music the same way, you're gonna get what you've always gotten. So what's the alternative? What's, what do we do then? Well, you play the opposite game. You say, okay, what would, what would my wounded ego want to do right now? Oh, it would want to stay safe. It, it wouldn't speak its truth in this moment. Why? Because we're, we're at the boardroom or we're, we're uh, at church and that doesn't resonate with me, but because I've been selling out on myself for 30 fucking years, I'm just going to sell out again. Okay, well, that's what it would do. Cool, I'm going to do the opposite. Instead of hiding, repressing, holding, withholding. I'm going to open the gates and allow myself to be vulnerable at first. And then the vulnerability shifts to transparency. There's a big distinction between vulnerability and transparency. Vulnerable says, I have something on the line. If I share this, you could hurt me with your information. Transparency says, here is my truth. See through me. You can have that information. It does nothing. Why? Because I am made in the spiritual image and likeness of the Most High. Why? Because your, the, the information does nothing to me. As long as I have breath and my heart is beating. This is God's confirmation number that I am here as a on purpose with many purposes. Boom. Hit the S. Hit the S. Apostrophe S. Why? Because I'm not just here for one thing. Also a part of the virus of the mind and the lie that we believe because we've heard it for so long, starting from eight, nine years old. What are you gonna be when you grow up? We're implying in those moments that there is one thing to be. And so when we get our one thing job and we get um, validated from our family, oh yeah, Ted's a good guy, oh yeah, yeah, um, Sarah's, Sarah's just, you know, she's so nice and, and good. Then we hold on and we claw to the goodness. But behind the scenes, living quiet lives of desperation, experiencing deep, wounded suffering. And most of it, and I'm going to end here, most of it is unnecessary. So let me start, let me end where I started. Flying below the radar is bullshit. You really want to take this to the next level? You really want to have no gas left in your tank when you get to that moment and they put you in that casket or they burn you into nothingness, the same nothingness from which you came? If you really want to have your tank on E, you can't play below the radar. And each and every human watching and consuming this knows exactly what I'm saying. You hear me. You know what I'm saying. I am speaking. Hmm. Whatever is coming through, not because it's Preston. I'm saying yes to the channel and the channel is speaking through. So let this land wherever it needs to land. Stop playing fucking small. It's time. And small, yes, is relative and you know. We always know. Ha! Let's get it. Love you guys. Blessings and blessings. Tag, share, 
that whole thing. Leave a comment. If this triggers you and it's, it's, I'm, I'm bullshitting, this is not true, cool, awesome, let me know. Put it in the comments. Let's do this, y'all. And for those of you men out there who want to do some work, the next Man Cave starts July 27th. We're already selling out. I haven't even quote unquote announced it yet. Jump in the game with us. And for those of you coaches out there, I'm creating something that's going to be so beast mode to help you get over this very thing. So be on the lookout uh, September. Aho, matakuyasin. I love you all. Peace.